Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of integer operations. This is standard 6.3c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 24 off the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a number line, and we've got uh, these little arrows. I guess these are jumps. Looks like they're starting at zero, and they're kind of moving back like this. And we're just supposed to match one of these expressions, fghj, to this. Well, these are all integers, right? So we've got whole numbers that are either positive or negative. Let's see if we can just figure out what these equal here. We'll see. So the numbers I see are 0, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, and then a whole bunch of negative 2s. Let's see if we can just simplify some of these and see what we come up with. So 0 minus negative 8. So this is going to be big for us because this could possibly work. But here's our big question. What happens with two negatives? So remember that when we have two negatives, so a negative and a negative actually cancel each other out. They make a positive. Because when you're taking something, when you're taking a positive way, that actually becomes negative, right? So positive and negative, or a negative and a positive, both of those turn out negative. So the only way to get a positive is you do a negative and negative, or, of course, you can always still do a positive and a positive. So rather than this being 0 minus negative 8, what we're going to get here is these two are going to collapse down to a minusing a negative actually becomes a positive. So it's going to be 0 plus 8. So that's going to become 8, which that does not work. Let's just put an 8 right there doesn't work because 8 is somehow right off here. It's If it were negative 8, it still might not show the operation that we're looking at right now, but it's incorrect. It's off our table or off our number line. So negative 2 times 4. So there's negative 2. So let's say this is my negative 2 right here, times 4. So that means groups of. So 4 groups of negative 2. So could we say we've got 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, that could possibly work. Let's see. 4 times 2 is 8. And this is a positive. If there's no operation, or if there's no positive or negative in front of a number, you can always assume it's positive. So positive and a negative. Remember, positive and negative make a negative, so negative 8. So we did at least end up with negative 8. So you know what, this one, looking pretty good. That might be it. Let's check H. Negative 2 plus negative 8. So let's simplify that again. So remember, negative 2 plus negative 8. Once again, positive and negative, boom becomes a negative. So let's just simplify that down into negative 2 minus 8. Remember, minus always goes to the left on a number line. So we're going to start here at negative 2, and we're going to take away 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it comes over here into negative 10. So that equals negative 10. So I guess this might work if it were, like we're looking at least at a negative 2, we're looking at a negative 8, but besides that, it doesn't really work because it ends up at the wrong spot. So that's going to be incorrect. And negative 2 divided by 4. Well, we could just look at 2 divided by 4. Remember that we can also represent division as, uh, as a fraction. So we'll say 2 fourths. We'll say that simplifies down to 1 half. This is a negative, so let's just go ahead and make it a negative 1 half. And that is nowhere near where we need it to be. So our answer is going to be G, because we have four groups of negative 2, and that equals negative 8.